India's inflation continues to be low, stable, and moving towards the 4% target. Co-inflation, that is non-food and non-fuel, currently is 3.1%. Steps are being taken to ensure supplies of perishable goods reach markets adequately. Interim budget, as mentioned in the interim budget, we need to focus on four major casts, namely the Garib, Mahilaye, Yuva, and Anadatta, the poor, women, youth, and the farmer. For Anadatta, we announced higher minimum support prices a month ago for all major crops delivering on the promise of at least a 50% margin over cost. Pradhan Mantri Garib Karajana was extended for five years, benefiting more than 80 crore people. Administrative actions for approval and implementation of various schemes announced in the interim budget are well underway. The required allowance made. Budget theme. Turning attention to the full year and beyond in this budget, we particularly focus on employment, skilling, MSMEs, and the middle class. I'm happy to announce the Prime Minister's package of five schemes and initiatives to facilitate employment, skilling, and other opportunities for 4.1 crore youth over a five-year period, with a central outlay of 2 lakh crore rupees. I will speak about them shortly, while more details may be seen in the annexure. This year, I've made a provision of 1.48 lakh rupees, 1.48 lakh crore rupees for education, employment, and skilling. Budget priorities. The people have given a unique opportunity to our government to take the country on the path of strong development and an all-round prosperity. In the interim budget, we promise to present a detailed roadmap for our pursuit of Vikasit Bharat. In line with the strategy set out in the interim budget, this budget envisages sustained efforts on the following nine priorities for generating ample opportunities for all. Number one, productivity and resilience in agriculture. Number two, employment and skilling. Number three, inclusive human resource development and social justice. Four, manufacturing and services. Five, urban development. Six, energy security. Seven, infrastructure. Eight, innovation, research and development. And nine, next generation reforms. Subsequent budgets will build on these and add more priorities and actions. A more detailed formulation will be carried out as part of the economic policy framework about which I will speak later in this speech. This budget details some of the specific actions to be initiated in the current year towards fulfillment of these priorities with potential for transformative changes. The budget also covers some of the previously made announcements with intent to strengthen them and step up their implementation for expediting our journey towards the goal of Vikasid Bharat. Priority one, productivity and resilience in agriculture. Transforming agricultural research. Our government will undertake a comprehensive review of the research, agricultural research setup to bring the focus on raising productivity 
and developing climate resilient varieties.